Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Tuxedo Sam inspired cake roll. So let's get started. I'm using hardy air dry clay, but you can use any air dry clay or you could use polymer clay if you wanted to. It's really up to you. I love air dry clay. I think it's really easy to work with and I just really like it. So I'm coloring it here with some chalk pastels and these are just the cheap chalk pastels from Walmart for like $6, nothing fancy. I do recommend using chalk pastels instead of paint with air dry clay especially because if you use too much paint with air dry clay it tends to get really sticky and it takes a really long time to dry so I just like using the chalk. If you don't have the mold that I'm using then all you have to do is make a ball with your clay and then use something flat. I'm just going to use a box and just mush it down slightly to make a flattened ball and then you're just going to use I'm using the back of a paintbrush, but you can use a ball tool and just make a spiral indent in it, and that's pretty much what the mold is going to do. I just like using the mold. <laughs> With air dry clay, you can also use a little tiny bit of water to smooth out any cracks because with air dry clay, it's a little bit hard to smooth out the cracks, so using a little bit of water kind of helps smooth it out a little bit. Just don't use too much or else your clay will get really sticky really quick. The mold that I'm using is by the brand Patico, and it's probably one of the best molds. The series of molds they make is the best are the best molds that I've ever used. One standout one has them in her shop. Um, I'll put the link below, but you can find these a bunch of places, but they're really, really awesome molds. Then I'm just going to texture it using a stiff paintbrush. I just used a darker blue and a lighter blue to shade the cake roll, and it looks really poopy. Then I just use silicone as the cream and I just pipe it into the Whipple bags. For his bow tie, I'm using polymer clay. So you just need to take two equal parts of red polymer clay and form them into little triangles. I'm sure there are other ways to make his bow, but this is just the way I decided to do it. So just form a triangle with your fingers. And then you're just going to push the two triangles together and smooth it out. Then for his hat, you're going to need white polymer clay, and you'll need a ball and then a flat strip. And then all you're going to do is wrap this strip around the ball so it kind of looks like an air hockey paddle and cut off any excess. Then for the ribbon around his hat, I'm using red polymer clay, and I had a hard time figuring out what color it was supposed to be because he is shown with blue ribbon, red ribbon, Sanrio usually has him with pink ribbon, but my husband really likes when he has a red bow tie and a red ribbon on his hat, so I decided for those colors. So you're just going to roll out a strip of red polymer clay and just gently attach it to the top outside of the brim of the hat. Now there may have been another way to make the ribbon that sticks out of his hat, but the way that I did it was I rolled out some red polymer clay and cut it in half and then rolled the ends together and smoothed them so that it was a little tail at the end. You could also cut out a tiny rectangle and then just cut a triangle out of it, um, but because this was so tiny I just decided it was easier for me to roll two strips together and then smooth it out, but you can do whatever you would like. And then you just attach the end to the hat. Then bake your bow and your hat, and then I'm just going to use a little bit of glue to attach the bow and the hat to the creation. And there you have a really cute cake roll. Um, this is dedicated to my husband who absolutely loves Tuxedo Sam, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Run. Air. Poopy.